How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So if you guys want to see some more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. Do you want to continue with the normal rebuild videos that we've been doing? Do you guys want to see like a team of all prospects, a team of legends? What do you guys want to see? Let me know down below. So this video is a little bit different. We're basically thinking what happens if mlb was forced to cut ties with every single player and just restart fresh and have a draft to pick you know each team has to pick their player and just kind of have a draft you know let's see what would happen so we're obviously going to be starting a new franchise we'll be using the same roster as last time the best since osfm update obviously i'm waiting for the osfm rosters before we hop into our zero overall franchise as well as maybe another franchise series so once those rosters come out i'll definitely bring those series to you guys but for now let's focus on today's video what happens you know if mlb was forced to start over and teams were like all right we can't have you anymore let's start fresh so we're gonna do a fantasy draft and let's see what happens obviously we're the cubs but let's see what happens let's simulate the draft and let's see the results for everything i'm kind of interested to see who goes where what happens do teams go pitcher heavy do teams go prospect heavy do they go batter heavy let's see what happens we're gonna hop into the regular season and let's quickly take a look at what you know what happened who went where and things like that so let's look at you know the team we picked the cubs you guys can see the roster here i'll kind of quickly go through each team just to kind of talk about it and see what i think I think this team is, you know, it looks pretty good. Bryant, Baez, Whit Merrifeld, um, Corey Dickerson, Starling Castro, Alfaro. Um, it's not a bad, not a bad team. Pretty balanced, you know, some power, some speed, you know, young players, a little bit of old players. Not too bad. Um, let's look at the pitching rotation. You know, Martinez, Darvish, Baruki, Baruki, um, Gibson, Gomber. I didn't. That one's a little, eh. Um, and then you obviously see the bullpen here. The bullpen's a little weak. Um, but overall, the team looks pretty solid. Um, do we have any prospects that look interesting? Sixto Sanchez is down there. Um, but looking at the rest of the Luis, Luis Patino. But not too many other names there. Um, you guys can see here. Nothing too crazy. And we'll just kind of quickly look at this one. We won't go through each roster for every team like like this, um, but we'll definitely like look at the lineups and the pitching rotation, like the major league um, rotation for everything. So Akil Badu is here. Nomar Mazara is actually on this team. So I think Nomar Mazara is an MLB player. Like he needs to be in the big. So who would be dropped from this lineup? Probably this guy just because he's oh, I don't want to release him. I just want to send him a triple. I think that would you know, no, no more Mazzara is definitely MLB Caliber player. So all right, let's look at the rest of the team see how each you know each team drafted um, The Reds are you know, they got Arenado Buster Posey, but all you know overall their lineups looking a little weak David Dahl's a good player to look for in the future, but it's looking a little eh, a little eh you know what I'm saying? Um, JD Martinez, Jose Ramirez, Miguel Cabrera. So it's looking like the Brewers went a little bit older in terms of player. Adam Jones, um, Nick Ahmed's a little bit older as well. Gerardo Parra's 31. So, yeah, I'm a, that, you know, those two teams are kind of looking a little shaky offensively. Um, the Pirates, though, Springer, Lindor, Eloy Jimenez. Um, not not too bad of a, a, a couple pickups there. The Cardinals, Stanton, Renfro, Guriel Jr., um, Delano de Shields Jr. So they, they're looking pretty good too. Um, the Diamondbacks, they have Mondesi and Ben Attendee. Um, Kane, Justin Turner. Okay, not too bad. D. Gordon, um, Aaron Judge, Joey Gallo, Jay Bruce, Wilson Contreras, Ender and Ciarte. So, okay, not too bad there either. Fam, Cruz, Correa for the Dodgers. Um, Yohan Moncada. So a couple couple names. Mike Trout is at the Padres, um, but the rest of his supporting cast isn't too exciting. Um, the Giants have Billy Hamilton, Miguel Andujar, um, Salvi. So a couple decent names there. The Orioles, Bryce Harper's with the Orioles. Okay, Domingo Santana, Yadi's there, but again, offensively, it's looking a little quiet for the Orioles. Um, the Red Sox. 
Dustin Pedroia, Ahmed Rosario, Nimmo, Chapman, Polanco, Hap. So a couple decent players for the future. Rosario, Nimmo, Hap, and Chapman. Not too bad. The Yankees have Acuna and Fernando Tatis Jr. They also have Austin Meadows, Ray Almuto. Um, Greg Bird is returned to the to the Yankees. So, whew, not a bad team there in terms of like some youth talent. Um, the Rays, Bellinger, Aguilar, Travis Shaw, Odor, Zunino. Okay. Blue Jays, Hanniger. Um, that's Eddie Rosario, uh, Ramon Laureano, Sox, Trey Turner, Vado, Scooter Jeanette, Aaron Hicks, Victor Reyes, Aramis Garcia, Indians, you got Senzel, Pollock, Seeger, Chris Davis, Gary Sanchez. Okay, so some, some interesting moves so far. Um, the Tigers, I'm not too impressed by Victor Robles is a good future prospect. Framil Reyes, same thing, Tyler O'Neill, but... Overall, I'm a little disappointed in the Tigers. The Royals, kind of the same thing. They have Gleyber Torres, but outside of that, you know, eh, you know. Uh, the Twins, they got Juan Soto, Miguel Sano. So that's a couple decent pickups. Simmons, all right. Buxton, Bregman, Cano, uh, Sinsu Chu's, eh. Willie Adamas looks like a good shortstop for the future. Looking at the A's, you got Mookie Betts, Paul Goldschmidt, Col Goldschmidt, Schwarber, okay, Dansby Swanson, the Mariners, Michael Brantley, okay, Machado, wow, Didi Gregorius, DJ LeMahieu, Avisal Garcia, the Rangers, they got Paul DeYoung, that's always good, I guess, Rendon is with the Astros along with Reese Hoskins, all right, uh, we got Vlad Jr. on the Braves with Rizzo, Hayward, Bader, there's a couple nice names there, um, the Marlins, they got Puig, um, Malik Smith, Blake Trahan, um, but it's kind of a quiet lineup too. I'm not too impressed with that one. Albi, Semyon, Ozuna, Eugenio. That's not a bad lineup for the Nationals. The Mets, they got I'll say, uh, no, they got Shedlong, Yoenis Cespedes, Conforto. So okay, eh, you know that one I'm not too impressed with either. Um, the Phillies are looking pretty bad besides Bogarts and Mustakis. Um, and then we're back to our team. We'll quickly look through the pitching rotation as well for every team. The Reds, a little old, a little old in terms of starters. They do have Chapman. Um, Floro's not a bad setup, man. But overall, I'm not too impressed with that one. Uh, not really the Brewers either. Strasburg and Corbin, that's a good one too for the Pirates. Um, they also have Diego Castillo and ken giles so the pirates did okay with the pitching uh what what do we got for the cardinals not too bad in the starters eduardo rodriguez grows bueller definitely grows so you got two good future pitchers there okay on the bullpen but nothing too special diamondbacks diamondbacks you know they got adovino and also diaz matt bowman grows into a decent pitcher they got zach Britton. so bullpen wise they look okay but starting rotation is pretty weak rockies Rotate starting rotations bad very bad. Wow voice voice crack Knable and Chad Green are okay. Oliver Perez decreases pretty quickly. So pitching wise the Rockies whoof, They're gross um, Dodgers Kyle Hendricks Snell Ryu um, That's that's not too bad Fulties there bullpen doesn't look horrible either. So the Dodgers did pretty good um, pitching wise uh, the Padres they have Felipe Vasquez, Andrew Miller. So those are good closers, like setup closers. Um, starting rotation, they got Garrett Cole. They got Corbin Burns, who grows. Uh, they're not too bad, not too bad. The Giants, looks like they went bullpen heavy. And I remember their lineup wasn't too good, so I can see where they went with their picks. They went more pitching focused, but starting rotation didn't look too strong. Um, Orioles so so um the red Sox they look okay you know they got kluber kikuchi they're not too bad rodon turns into a pretty good pitcher kelvin herrera jordan hicks and will harris for the uh yankees to kind of close it out garrett richards is okay lucasi grows corbin burns grows wait do we have two corbin burns am i just seeing things i might just be seeing i, I might be thinking of other stuff who knows darwin's and hernandez turns into a decent future pitcher uh the rays Nice little back half of the bullpen. They got Sevi Strom. Okay, not too bad. Sale Verlander. So two aging pitchers for the the Blue Jays. Um, 
They got Archie Bradley, who turns into a beast, though. DeGrom for their starter for the White Sox. So they got a solidified ace, um, but their pitching is a little, little quiet. They got Edwards and Strope, but so-so there. Melanson and Ciszek for the Indians. They got Nola, Waka. So, again, so-so, but nothing too impressive. Syndergaard, Bumgarner, Price, and Stripling. Also, Dallas Keuchel for the Tigers. They went they went pretty pitch pretty pitcher heavy. They also have Pedro Baez, Blake Parker, and Devensky. So they they went pretty heavy on the pitching, and it shows. It's not too bad. That, that's actually pretty good. Alex Wood, Jack Flaherty, Luis Castillo for the Royals. That's not bad either. Um, older older bullpen and Pettit. Uh, oh and Nishak, but they also have Michael Givens, who's pretty decent. Uh, starting pitching-wise, not too bad here. Probably, you know, a little bit average, but okay. Uh, let's see, they're okay. The Angels, nothing too crazy though. And then Athletics look like they, you know, Charlie Morton, Gonzalez, Porcello, kind of older pitchers. Actually, is Marco Gonzalez older? Yeah, he's, no, 27 is not bad. Uh, Batances and Will Smith to kind of close things out. That's not too, that's pretty good. Moro to close things out for the Mariners. They also have Paxton, Otani, Caleb Smith. Okay, not not too shabby. Um, the Rangers, they got Sir Anthony Dominguez, so they got a closer for the future. They got Pudge's son, Derek Rodriguez, John Gray, Julio Urias. That's a nice looking team right there um, for pitching wise. They got some young, young talent. The Astros, so they got Trinan. That's not bad. Crick grows a little bit. Uh, Richard Rodriguez usually stays about the mid 80s. Michaelis, Hap, uh, Yarbrough should grow. The Braves look okay. Nothing too crazy. They got Freeland. Uh, they got Kenley Jansen though. That's that's a good one. Max Scherzer on the Marlins. And the Marlins, I was a little disappointed in, and I'm still kind of disappointed in them. They don't they don't have anybody too crazy. Um, Nationals look pretty strong. Bauer, Maeda, Zach Wheeler. Um, they got Edgar Santana, Nick Vincent, Taylor Rogers. So they kind of went pitcher heavy, it looks like. The Mets, they got Clevenger. They got Ber Holy Jose Barrios. 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 I don't know. Johnny Cueto, Peacock, uh, Reyes Moronta. That, yeah, they you know, they look like they got some young young pitchers for the future. Kershaw's on the Phillies with Jamison Tyon. Um, okay. All right. And then we're back to us. So overall... It's pretty interesting. Some names I wasn't expecting to be in places. Overall, it's it's kind of cool to see how things are going. Um, we'll take a look at the, the prospects real quick just to kind of see where they landed. So Acuna is with the Yankees. We've already talked about this. Tatis Jr. is with the Yankees. Guriel's with the uh, Cardinals. Guerrero was with the Braves. Brendan Rodgers with the Astros. Kopex with the Orioles. Uh, Kyle Wright. Uh, Bichette is with the Cardinals. Okay, so, you know future second baseman shortstop combo for the cardinals uh royce lewis is with the giants that's a big name senzel we talked about with the indians justice sheffield is with the mets jesus lazardo um normally of the a's is with the red Sox. mackenzie gore of the padres is with the rockies mitch keller chris paddock of the the padres normally is with the pirates hunter green normally of the reds is with the brewers uh, Luis Urias of the Padres is now with the Brewers. Luis Robert, or yeah, Luis Robert, normally of the White Sox, is with the Twins. Um, who else here? Madrigal of the White Sox is with the Cardinals. So the Cardinals stocked up on some prospects for second and short, uh, for sure. Uh, Sixto Sanchez we listed. Luis Patino that we listed. Uh, More Hones with the Marlins. Duplantier, uh, normally of the Diamondbacks, I believe. He's with the Astros. Uh, Carter Keyboom of the Nationals is with the Angels. Who else? The Brewers. Hiura is with the Mariners now. Jonathan India, formerly of the Reds, is with the Rockies. Uh, yeah, this, it's pretty cool to see where some of these top prospects went. And I'm kind of interested to see how things are. Let me make sure injuries are, are off. Perfect. I wanted to say. But like I was saying, it's interesting to see where these players landed. We are going to have everything simulated just sim through the season see how things go just a one-off what happens if baseball restarted essentially so i'll see you guys at the end of the season we'll go over league leaders and stuff like that and we'll see how the season turned out okay so our, our cubs didn't make the postseason at 80 and 82 but you know what that wasn't the point we want to see how things 
played out. So league leaders wise, we'll go through it kind of quickly. Batting average, JD Martinez was at the top with Jesse Winker. Whoa, okay. Um, hits, Jose Ramirez and Jose Martinez at bats, Trey Turner, Ozzy Albies. Okay, you guys can kind of see it. If at any time you guys want to pause it, go ahead and do it. It's kind of interesting to see some of these names up here that I, I, I never would have thought about. Like Harper with triples, I saw that. Um, stolen bases, expected. 65 for Trey Turner. Woo! Okay. Jesse Winker's a name I didn't really expect to see up there, but you guys can see he is. Same with Jose Martinez. He definitely had a pretty... Whoa, whoa. Ivan Nova, most wins in the American League, along with Joe Musgrove. Losses, Blake Snell and Jason Vargas. Okay. Seth Lugo, whoa, 50 saves. Okay. All right. So some pretty interesting names there. Shoutouts, that's pretty cool. Um, strikeouts, you guys can see that. Let's go to saves. We are we, we already passed saves. So there there was that. The standings for each uh, division. You guys can see the Brewers won the Central. The West was taken by the Dodgers. The Marlins and the Cardinals won the wild card. The East was the Rays. Tigers in the Central. The West was the Mariners. And the wild card was the Rangers and the Twins. Quickly through the awards. Um, National League MVP was Bruce. Bruce. Where did Bruce come from? George Springer. Um, you guys can see his stat line there. He had a pretty solid season for sure. In terms of American League, it went to Garrett Cole, who 21-3 and three deserve it. And a sub-2 ERA. Jeez. So Cy Young, obviously Garrett, Garrett Cole, Joe Musgrove for the National League of the Brewers. Um, batting title, J.D. Martinez. He had a 345 average, 45 home runs. Okay. Um, for the American League, it was Jesse Winker. 346 average um, reliever of the year Jose Alvarado for the the Marlins he had 54 saves and in the American League it was Sean Doolittle with 45 saves rookie of the year Yusei Kikuchi he was 11 and 13 with a 384 average and he was the rookie of the year Vlad Jr. got it for the National League um, an okay year okay year um, gold gloves and stuff I'm not too interested with, with. so that's, that's pretty cool um went through the league leaders and yeah that's kind of it you guys can see the playoff picture here the tigers versus the rays we'll uh we'll definitely just kind of we'll sim we'll sim a couple days see if we have any advancements so you guys can see what's going on in the playoff picture so far um going through we'll, we'll sim another week um the so we got in the alcs we got the rays versus the twins and then in the NLCS, we got the Braves versus the Cardinals. Oh, I almost, I almost left the, I almost left the, the franchise there for a second. So, okay, let's uh, let's take a look here. So, we'll definitely take a look at the two World Series teams once we get there. Um, so that Braves swept the Cardinals, and we're at, you know, one game away from the Twins being eliminated. And we're going to game seven for the ALCS. And it's going to be the Rays versus the Braves. Let's take a look at the, the Braves. They have Vlad Jr. But they also have McCutcheon, Rizzo, Piscotti, Cervelli, Brandon Crawford, Hayter, Valleca. Okay, so a pretty pretty solid team. Um, we'll take a look at their pitching rotation as well with the Braves. Freeland, Suarez, Reynaldo Lopez. So over the pitching, for like the starting pitching... Not too impressive. This this is impressive though. Jansen, Reed, and Brevia. That's a strong finish. Like a back half of the bullpen. Um, and then there was the Rays. Let's take a look at the Rays. Their opponent. Um, where are they? Where are they? Tampa Bay. Garrett Cole. Sevy. Okay. Strom. Jimmy Nelson. Archer. That's a strong rotation right there. Um, and even their bullpen doesn't look too bad with Hendricks, Minter, Erlin, and Nicasio. Jeez. We'll take a look at their their uh, uh, their lineup as well. They got Marwin, Gorky, Hernandez. They got Bellinger and Aguilar, Travis Shaw, Odor, Zunino, uh, Phillips, Braun. Okay, so not a bad lineup. It's looking like their starting pitching is a little bit stronger. But let's see what happens here. So we got a 1-0 to Tampa Bay. Okay. And we are going to have the Rays 
defeating the Braves in a 4-1 series. Braun. Okay, World Series MVP. He's down to a 72, but apparently in the playoffs, he was like, I'm making this happen. I'm becoming a World Series MVP. So it's pretty interesting to see what happens, you know, when the MLB is forced to just completely restart. I thought it was kind of cool. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. It's not necessarily a rebuild. It's not necessarily like a franchise or anything. But I just wanted to see what would happen if the CPU basically took over everything. How would MLB play out and it's kind of interesting you see some teams um, that you wouldn't make the playoffs like the Marlins they're definitely not going to be making the playoffs the Tampa Bay Rays are on the verge the Tigers definitely are the Twins the Mariners the Rangers I don't know about that but you know some teams you know were able to get players that they probably wouldn't normally be able to get thanks to this draft so it's pretty cool to see how you know everything played out and I, you know, I thought it was kind of cool to do this. So if you guys want to see some more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Last year, I did like a, what happens if all historical players played in today's MLB. I did a prospects rebuild. So there's definitely some other videos like this that we could do where we do one or two seasons at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And as always, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll definitely be back with normal rebuilds tomorrow and the days going forward. I just wanted to, you know, switch it up a little bit, have some fun. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.